What is going on everyone? My name is Benjamin Nowak and in today's video I want to blow your mind and hopefully dispel some myths about one of your favorite springtime color and bait patterns. And that color is the color red. More specifically this crankbait right here and tell you that it does not imitate a crawfish early in the spring. Now before you guys go ahead and say I'm crazy, I know the color red works all across the country in the spring and catches a ton of big bass, but I'm here to tell you more than likely it's not imitating a crawfish and this is why. Let me tell you guys a little bit of my backstory. Now, I went out fishing yesterday in Michigan waters. The water temps were from the upper 30s to low 40s, and I fished from 33 foot of water to five foot of water, from clean water to dirty water and everything in between and struggled to get bit. Well, then I said, screw it, I'm going home. I put the boat on the trailer, dropped the trolling motor down, started casting around this orange and red crankbait right here. Four foot of water, 41 degree water temps, and caught my first smallmouth of the year. Four and a half pounds, four foot of water, 41 degrees on a red and orange crankbait. Now, why did that fish bite? Why do I think that this bait did not imitate a crawfish, even though it looks like one? Well, this is why. Now, here are the facts about crawfish, and this is backed by science. I'll leave the link down in the description below. In water temps less than 50 degrees, crawfish are virtually inactive. What that means is no matter where you fish, whether it's north, south, east, west, anywhere in the country, in water temps less than 50 degrees, crawfish are basically still burrowed into the rocks, the sand, the dirt, the gravel. They're burrowed up, virtually inactive. They're not down there scooting around. Fish aren't probably eating crawfish early in the spring. So why does this bait work? Well, I'm here to tell you the biggest reason is the muddier, warmer water. One thing that's effective, especially up here in Michigan, is finding that muddier water early, early season. And the reason for that is because it warms faster. Bass are constantly looking to go up and eat. Any increase in temperature is an increase in a bass's metabolism. Bass are cold blood creatures, so if that water temp goes up, the bass are gonna become more active. They're gonna start eating. It's not like down in the south where if it's cold water, bass are basically lethargic. Our bass have been sitting in cold water, 33 degree water, 34 degree water, all winter long. So when that water temp starts to rise, those fish are gonna push shallower they're gonna be looking to feed. So in that muddier, shallower water that warms up faster, bass are gonna push up in there and they're gonna to look to eat. Now, what do they think that this bait is if it's not a crawfish? The biggest thing that I can think of is that it silhouettes well in that dirtier water. The reds, the blacks, the browns, the oranges, the chartreuses are gonna silhouette better than a normal natural color, you know, bluegill color, greens, whites in that dirtier water. So this bait is gonna be more effective. You're gonna be able to cover water faster, it's gonna silhouette better, and it's gonna look like the bait fish um, that those bass are feeding on. That's what they're eating until that water temp hits 50 degrees and those crawfish start moving around. This bait here is effective not because of its color, not because it looks like a crawfish, but because it silhouettes well and those bass are up shallow chasing and feeding on bait fish. So if you're able to put this in and around cover, to make it look like a bait fish, you have a chance at catching a bass. So when you go out to fish your home body of water, find a color that silhouettes well, especially if you're gonna be in that dirtier, shallower, muddier water. A color like this here is gonna work effectively because it's darker, has some of those colors that are gonna silhouette and stand out better in that muddy, dirty water. Now, I just thought that was kinda of interesting. I know I promised you guys an on the water video and unfortunately I struggled yesterday. Didn't get that four pounder on camera, I literally clicked my camera off. I'm like, man, I'm done for the day. I'm throwing around a shallow square bill in four foot of water that was 41 degrees and ended up hooking that four and a half pounder. Um, it felt amazing. Unfortunately, didn't get it on camera as I mentioned, but hopefully I have an on the water video for you guys coming very, very shortly. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends. And as always, take care of tight lines. God bless. Pursue your passion.